And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's an every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program on this Flash Friday. Headlights on across North America. Men, turn the headlights on right now. Show everybody you're a Tom Likas listener, for God's sake. Show them. And ladies, when we show you our headlights, uh, you show us your headlights. That's what you do, girls. If you see the headlights on, we flash you, you flash us. Show us your knockers, baby. Show us your cans. Do it, do it, do it, do it. If you see a nice pair of cans out there, call me and give me a full report here at 1-800-5800-TOM. And, uh, of course, if you've got a nice pair of cans, ladies, and for whatever reason you have not uh, have not had the uh, opportunity to show them off because you haven't seen any headlights in your area, you can also call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas show. Anything goes here, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. Call us at 1-800-5800-TOM. And if you're listening to us on the Internet from any other country, the 800 number probably won't work for you. So call this number. If you're calling from anywhere outside the United States, the country code is 1, the area code is 323, and the phone number is 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. Let's go to your calls here. Let's say hi here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm doing Okay. Okay, you were talking earlier this week about how you wouldn't care if some broad that you was with, you know, and she starts some, some kind of fight, something, she gets into it, right? And you would just say that's her problem. I, I think you took it too far because you were saying that even if, if you had somebody or something and he got into a fight, it was his problem. Well, what, what happens is suppose some guy comes up, you're in a bar having some drinks with your buddies, and some jerk comes up looking for trouble and he just clocks your boy right in the head for no reason, right? It doesn't happen all the time. I am. Yeah, I will know. not do that on behalf of a female. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so it's a difference if it's your buddy and if it's a chick? Yeah, it is. It is. It absolutely is because there's a guy code, and uh, yeah, you stand up for your buddies. But I'm not doing that for a chick. I'm not getting involved. Right, it doesn't even matter what happened. Like, I know some guys called you up and said, suppose, suppose somebody grab asses her for no reason. He, that doesn't bother you neither. Again, I, I, I have given up on the idea of having women as property. I couldn't care less, you know, because they're going to do what they want anyway with their MySpaces and their Facebook pages and their text messaging and their cell phones and their 72 email addresses and their webcams. They're going to do what they want anyway nowadays. There's no point even trying to control what people do. Well, yeah, yeah, but it ain't, it ain't controlling them. I mean, almost. Sure it is. Well, no, if some guy comes up right in front of you, I, I'm, I'm telling you, if Tom like is walking down the street with the with the 10 he's currently banging right, and I just walk up to her and start grabbing her ass, you you tell me you're just going to stand there? You would have to deal with whatever she dishes out to you. Oh, I ain't going to be afraid of whatever she dishes out. In fact, it will probably be done just as a disrespect to you. It doesn't even matter who the chick is. Well, well, I will see what happens when that happens, but I'm telling you that no way, no way I would get into fisticuffs with somebody over something like that. I wouldn't do it. No chick is worth it. Period. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Andrew on the Tom Likas Show. Father. Yes, doing I'm doing okay. Good to hear, brother. I just got to thank you for a couple things. Um, first and foremost, thank you for giving me the strength to DTB. I have been happy and been smacking more ass than the New York Knicks. And on another note, I would like to thank you for introducing me to 
Knob Creek. Knob Creek bourbon, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, I heard you doing a show on it, and uh, you, you had said put it on, serve it warm on, on the rocks and let the ice kind of melt and uh, dilute it a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah, you got to you gotta add something to bourbon, and, and that comes straight from the distillers, by the way. Uh, people who drink bourbon neat, uh, they are uh, not doing it justice. According to the distillers of bourbon, uh, you add water to it, and it breaks the surface tension of the bourbon, and it releases all of the bouquet, all of the aromas that are in there, and releases the flavor. And, oh, I hear uh, that, man. It, I, I believe it 100%. Hey, Tom. By the way, by the way, you do not have to douse it with water. You don't have to put a big block of ice in it. Just a few drops. Oh, what I do is fill, fill the cup all the way up with ice and then just uh, pour my drink and just let it melt as it goes. Yeah, you can do that. All right, hey, Tom, can you take me out with the bong here, please? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Uh, on today's program, we talked about uh, the Los Angeles Kings being rumored to be trading Mike Cavallari. They've done it. They traded him to the Calgary Flames in a three-way deal with the Anaheim Ducks, and they they got the uh, Ducks pick twelfth uh, overall in uh, the uh, NHL draft. So, Michael Cavallari now with the Calgary Flames. Look at that! I knew that was coming. Keep my ears open, baby. I'm wired. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Vince on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Vince. I'm hanging. I'm hanging right as usual, Vince. As usual. Hey, Tom, I, um, I'm calling with testimony uh, to your uh, woman love a-hole theory. You know, where I'll make it short. The setup is short. I have a daughter who has... Um, they. A friend they attend the same prep school. Yesterday was the last day of school. She let her friend use her iPod. Friend took the iPod home. So I contacted the mother, who I know previously, to get this iPod back. The mother is a very nice looking woman, and in my opinion, that she seems to be educated, has the head on the right shoulder. She said that her daughter was at her father's house. Talked to the father, made arrangements to pick the, the iPod up this morning. As I get to the guy's house, this guy lives in the worst part of town. I mean, there's old beat-up Cadillacs and pit bulls everywhere before you, uh -huh. get, before you even get to the door. And he shows up, and this I, if this guy graduated middle school, I'd be surprised. Wow. I, I mean... Not but only, that's that. You see, chicks like jerks. Chicks like creeps. Chicks like low life. That's the way it is. It was. It was such a contrast. We we con we conversed for a little while, but I could barely listen to him because I just kept thinking about <laughs> your theory and how tr how there could be no better example than before me. Oh yeah. I, I could not imagine that that woman that I've known for three years. Could, would even know somebody like this. Oh, yeah. And that's who women sleep with, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. So I am a definite believer in that theory. You gotta be a creep. <laughs> he, w he was the one coming up. I can imagine what... Well, the, uh, obviously because they're not together now, so something happened. But she bore children for this guy. Yeah. Well, I'm a creep. <laughs> well, well, good for you. I I'm am sure that you're getting getting the good stuff too. That's how you get the good stuff. I'm I'm the guy women complain about to the next guy they meet. <laughs> you're the guy that the women are complaining to the guy trying to get get into her. That's right. When Poindexter takes her out to dinner <laughs> and is there listening to her every word, hanging on everything she has to say. She is sitting there going, that Tom like is. You ever hear that guy on the radio? I dated him for a while, and you wouldn't believe what a creep he is. Of course, I got in her pants, something Poindexter won't be doing. <laughs> right. Exactly. Tom, that's all I wanted. Can you take me out? Kobe, stop, please. You know I can, Vince. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Here beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 
one 800 5800 tom That's our telephone number. Here's Boris on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Listen, I've been treated for the last months of these morons driving their Chevy Suburbans around L.A. with their Laker flags. Yes. To the sides of those. And I was driving around today. I haven't seen a single one of those. Well, the, Can you explain that phenomenon? Well, first of all, the NBA season is over. Let's start with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's nothing really to celebrate. <laughs> you know what? Uh, by the way, you mentioned uh, this week that you lived in Boston for a year. And I, I think, did. I uh, I think that, it, as you probably know, people are walking around uh, South Boston today, and they're saying something like this. Kobe Bryant is retarded. Yeah, he's retarded. He's retarded. He's retarded, he's and he's retarded. out there with all the fruits, nuts, and flakes out in California. <laughs> That's about all I had to say. You know what? I think I need to be taking out Kobe style as well. Oh, well, well, since the Celtics weren't taking out Kobe style, might as well do it to you. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. Tom like it. Like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. Like it. 1 800 5800 866. It's the Tom Like His Show, wide open telephones on this Flash Friday. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, dial now. Get your ass on the air, for God's sake, it's all good here. George is listening to our online stream in San Diego on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hey there, Tom, how's it going, Dad? Hey, it's going great. I just had a couple of questions real quick. Uh, I'm in the Navy. And uh, I'm stationed out here in San Diego, and like uh, I'm 23. I uh, grew up uh, in uh, LA, but I moved down here, and my homeboys took me to this uh, brothel down in Tijuana. Right. And now, like, I can't get enough of it. Like, I don't even try to go after girls anymore. Like, I just go after like uh, like hookers and prostitutes. Like, I, I mean, hookers and prostitutes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, like I, I, I still go up to LA and go to uh, Hollywood and whatnot, and cruise around, check out a. Uh, for some fine-looking women down there. And, like, I, I don't even try going after women anymore, but I'm, th- I'm starting to think it's starting to become a problem because, uh, like, you know, I'm just, is that bad or what do you think? Well, I don't believe in paying for something I can get for free. Yeah, but some of the girls out here, like, I mean, it's just much easier. I, I, I work hard for my money. I just want it right away. I don't want to, like, have to, like, uh, try to be debonair. I want to, like, uh, just go pay for it, get it done. And- I never recommend that guys be debonair on the contrary. I recommend they be jerks. Well, touche. Well, touche. But, uh, you know, I, really, I don't like even trying. I just said, what's wrong with uh, paying for it? I have no moral objection to people. Uh, you know, I think prostitution should be legal. I think it should be available. I think it should be taxed and licensed. And I think that it should be available uh, wherever and whenever you want it. I do believe that. And if you choose to pay for it uh, for your, the reasons you give, I have no problem with it as long as you understand that uh, in the military, as much as there's a long, hallowed tradition of sailors uh, getting with hookers, uh, it is a violation of the UCMJ, and it could get you bounced uh, uh, from uh, the from the armed forces. You understand that? Yeah, but I mean, it's it's a bunch of hypocrisy because I see a lot of uh, officers do the same thing. Everybody does it. Nobody says anything. It's like a like everybody down there got. You, I mean, you see the like. Like captains down in that at that whorehouse. I mean, it's it's no big secret. I understand. Now, do you use condoms? I hope so. All the time, all the time. Condoms always. I hey. uh, get checked out every uh, six months. It's mandatory now in the military that you get checked out every six months. Ever uh, caught anything? Careful. Pardon me. Have you ever caught anything? Negative. Negative. Really? Yeah. The girls. Down there, I, mean, I, I saw a special on TV a while back that said. Uh, like, prostitutes are actually a lot cleaner than uh, some uh, young girls that have only had, like, one or two partners simply because that's their profession. They know that uh, they have to be clean. Or well, clean. you can't generalize because I don't know which hookers we're talking about or which whorehouse we're talking about. You're in another country. I don't know if it's the same there as it is. Uh, uh, Tijuana, it's like southern San Diego. I mean, like, if you ever go to Adelitas down there, I mean... Some of the girls down there are like, wow. Like, I mean, they're, they're better than some of the girls up here in L.A. Some of the girls down there are guys. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah, check them out. yeah. No way. You need to check some of them out. Like, they seriously. They're You've really never heard out. about that? Pardon me? You've never heard about that? Yeah, I've heard about that, but no, that spot is like well known for, uh, 
like having like the hottest chick. Like if anybody out there knows where we're uh, not talking about whether they're hot. We're talking about whether they're burning downstairs. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right, right. So you think I should just like like cut that off and like just start going after like uh, sluttier women up here? Which I mean, are they much cleaner than uh, if you're if you are in uniform? There are plenty of hot, slutty women who will give you exactly what you want, and you don't have to pay for it. Exactly, exactly. Touche, touche. I mean, that's the thing. I, I, I object to giving money to women. That's what I object to. And I, 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 the one I object to the most is strippers. Yeah, I never. I, I don't even go to strip clubs anymore. Strippers like are hookers who don't put out. Yeah, exactly. Imagine paying a hooker, and then she doesn't give you what you paid for. Right. And these games that strippers play, ooh, here, let me give you my cell phone number. And, yeah. then, and then these guys go, oh, I think this stripper, she's really hot for me. She gave me her home phone number. She gave me her cell phone number. She gave me her card. That was me at 18. That was me at 18. Uh, 21, it was like, forget that. Just get it done. Get, get my rocks off and just go back to work. How stupid can guys be? I don't know. I used to, well, I mean, I can't really talk because I used to be one of those. When I was 18, like I said, I was uh, real mature, so... You know, that was like my, like, what I used to do every Friday night after I got my pay paycheck from Subway. Your paycheck from Subway? Were you a sandwich artist? I was. I was. Really? I love it. When I was 18, though, I, I moved on up to the east side. Wow. Yeah. What do you do after uh, being a sandwich artist at Subway? Is the next stop uh, barista? Where do you go after that? Uh, the military, of course. Oh, the military. Yeah. Barista, sous chef. No, I'm There's the ladder to success now. right there. Huh? I'm a mechanic now in the, in the Navy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, Tom, well, thanks, thanks for the advice, man. Uh, can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can, George. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Kevin. Kevin's listening to our online stream on Long Island on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I, I really want to know what you think I should do here. I, I was in a relationship for about a year, and we had some troubles. And uh, now she has told me that uh, she needs some time, and she's going to call me. She needs time days. to bang other guys. I asked her that though, and she what, what's she going to no. do? Tell you? I, I, she said that. When's the last time a woman ever said to you, "You know what? Thought I'd bang a couple of hot guys, see how it feels, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get back to you." But she's not like that. I know she's not. You don't know what she's like. If you knew so much about what she was like, why, why would you be so surprised about what she's doing? Well, Tom, this was a girl who was so obsessed with me that I am very surprised that she would ever want to spend an entire day without speaking to me. And now it's been like three three days. Because she's busy getting her, her, her groove on with somebody else. That's why. I don't know. I think it has something to do with her mom not approving of me. and now she's How long has she been dating you? Almost a year. It was well, a year. Where was mom a year ago? Well, her mom and her used to have a very close relationship, and they always felt that I kind of pulled them apart a little bit. Mm. By the way, at 20 years old, what are you doing with a girlfriend? I don't know, Tom. It just kind of happened. Like no, I no, no. And... No, it didn't. You made it happen. Why? Well, I, I met her, and she was, like, different than any other girl. She was Everybody different. says that. What? You're too young to have a girlfriend anyway. Then we start again to arguments and stuff, and then she tells her mom all about the arguments, and then now her mom... So this didn't just me. happen suddenly. This has been uh, coming for a while. I want to know, like, I've been waiting for her to call. I want to know if I should call her. I don't think you should call her. I think you should move on. I'm having a lot of problems moving on. Well, then you know what? It's time to grow up, son. But we, you know, it's like so weird doing things without it. Like we used to do everything. Stop together. being a pussy, man up. I know. I I swore I wasn't going to be a pussy at first. Though you like, are a pussy. I wasn't going to be at first. I told. Her I, I don't care what you were going to be. Anymore. What you were going to be is irrelevant. What you are is what's relevant. A pussy. Uh, I don't want to be a pussy. That's what you are. I don't. Wah wah wah. 
Now, if she eventually calls, like, let's say she calls tomorrow, uh, how should I handle that? Call her back next week. Call her back next week? Right. So I shouldn't even answer? What, you're supposed to be hanging by your thumbs waiting for her call? Well, in a way, I don't want her to think I am, but I kind of am. Oh, meow. I, I don't know. I, sometimes I always wonder, like, what she's doing, why all of a sudden she wants time, and I don't know. Because she met some guy. She wants to bone her. Meow, 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 But she meow, said meow, that's meow, the last meow, thing meow, she wants meow, to do. I don't care what she said. I mean, where is she? Oh, uh, another thing, like, she lives, she doesn't have a car, so that's what you would always argue about, when she's going to get a car. She lives, you know, a lot of 20 minutes away from me. Out east, sort of, and uh, I don't know. She just needs such a needed time. Time for what? I don't know what she does. She doesn't work. She doesn't go to school. She doesn't drive a car. I don't know By the way, why are you in love with a slug? So she's always been talking about how she's, you know, she's gonna get her license. I don't care what people talk about. I care about what they do. I'm just afraid. I've always been afraid that if I walk away from it, then eventually she's going to get her act together, and I'm going to wish I didn't. Stop walk away. worrying about that. You should be with people who do have their act together, not people who talk about getting their act together. Who cares what she talks about? Doesn't own a car. Doesn't have a job. By the way, how old is she? She's twenty. Yeah. What college is she attending? Doesn't attend any college. Bud Green University. Bonham Young about- University. Huh? She's been, talk- she's been talking about going to study cosmetology. But oh, please. Studying cosmetology. The last refuge of an educational scoundrel. Well, she's been talking study- like she, she has a lot of ambition. She wants to open up her own salon one she day. Talks about, she talks like she has a lot of ambition. Does she act like she has a lot of ambition? Uh, actually, not at all. That's my point. Who cares what she talks about? Well, I should just totally move on from this. Of thing. course! Hang on a second. Ray, what did you want to say to Kevin here? Hey, Tom. Love you. Thank you. Second time caller, long time listener. Want to tell this idiot that he is just being an idiot because I just went through the same thing. And my chick was calling me every day, and uh, guess what? You know, a few days didn't hear from her. I knew what was up, and she called back, and I told he just busted her, and she admitted, and, uh, but, you know, whatever. And uh, the funny part is that uh, the whole time I had two other chicks that I was wearing bone on the side, so I didn't care. <laughs> how long How long did it take her to call her. you? Huh? How long did it take her to call you? How long did it take her to call me? Oh, she didn't call me for like four, four days, five days, and I called her. I said, what's going on? You know, I was worried about her, and uh, because I knew uh, that she was uh, banging around, I was just, uh, you know, just playing, playing it like uh, I was concerned. I really wasn't. I knew what was going on. You know, I'm not stupid. That wasn't my first time around the block. You know, you're just being had, dude. Don't be an idiot. Maybe I should call her. No, you shouldn't call her. No, the only reason I called her because I wanted her to admit to me, and I knew what was up. You know? Honey, like I, I said. miss you, honey. I was just wondering why I haven't heard from you for the last yeah. three days. Meow. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Yeah, I just called her up. I said, hey, I hope you're okay, you know? I, other than that, I really don't care. She goes, well, you know, I want to be honest with you, and I was, uh, uh, something happened with this other guy that I was, uh, uh move, and, you know, yeah, right, you know. Of course, I knew what was going to happen, so don't be an idiot, dude. Like, I have, you know, hotel reservations, and I have stuff, you know, that I should just go ahead and cancel. Of course, but what are you doing paying for that stuff? Are you kidding me? Blow this guy up. Jesus Holy cow. Uh, Mark, what did you want to say here to Kevin? Right now. Mark? Hello. Yeah, what do you want to say to Kevin? Hey, Kevin, Kevin, you're acting, you're acting like an anal popper, Kevin. You need to reverse psychology on her and tell her no problem time as well myself, and let's see how she acts, and let's see what she does. You need to reverse about that on her. I was thinking about doing that. Like, when she finally calls, I'll say, you know what, now I'm confused, now I need some time, and maybe then she'll come running back to me. As the minute she told you 
she needed time, you should have told her, you know what, honey, I've been thinking about that all this time, and I need time myself. So, and then I guarantee you she would have been on you right away. I should have said that. Right away. You should have reversed it on her, and, you know, you just man up. Don't act like a poo butt and let her know the way it is, and that's it. If she don't like it, there's the door. There's plenty more. There's well, plenty I, more out there. I told her, you know, there's the door, and uh, after she found the door, I kind of felt bad, and I started to miss Because it. you're a pussy. That's why. Uh, Scott, what did you want to say here to Kevin? Kevin, you are the biggest pussy I've ever heard on the radio, man. You're from Long Island. You guys are supposed to be tough out there, man. You sound worse than the guys out here on the West Coast. Dude, you need to grow some balls, man. Come on. You're 20 years old. I was, I was never like this until this relationship, I guess. By you're only 20, bro. You, bro, you're only 20. you got a long way and a long life ahead of you. Why are you wasting your time, man? You sound like a little 14-year-old girl waiting to hear from her first boyfriend who, you know, is out messing around behind her back. you got to grow some balls, man. Come on. And then and then you call Tom like, I don't know what to do. And he's telling you what to do. You shouldn't be having a girlfriend. And you sit there and you're like, should I call her? Should I call her? Dude, no. You should be moving on. You should be out with your boys having a good time. You should be banging everything that moves. Exactly. And you're 20, dude. You're still young. you got time. You should be out partying with your boys, getting some new tail out there. Come on, man. You, there's so many pieces of tail out there. Come on. Well, I guess you're right. And don't oh. say, uh, I wonder if I should cancel my reservations. Yeah, you should be canceling reservations. You shouldn't be wasting your money, man. You're 20 years old. What are you making, like minimum wage? Oh, I only make 18 74 an hour, but I like to take her out now and then. Don't take her out, man. Don't take anybody out. You shouldn't be taking any girl out. You should be going out to a club with your boys, drinking it up, having a good time. And if, you know, a piece of uh, a, a girl comes by, then, you you know, you take care of business and, and see if uh, you can get, get her in bed. But you don't yeah, but that you, you wait around like a like a little fourteen year old girl waiting for the the guy to call. You sound just like a, a, a pussy. Even when I'm out with my friends and stuff, though, I'm still thinking about her. You know. Come oh, on, man. Boy, dude, oh, boy. I'm telling you right now, if you were to sit there and and, and and try to think about this girl, let's say fast forward down the line and you you, you get married or whatever. You sit there and you look back and you go, man, I really wish I would have had more time in my life to sit there and have a good time with the, my buddies. But no, I got married young and I got fell in love with the first girl I saw. And you're going to end up regretting your life, dude. You're still young. Enjoy it while you have it. All right, uh, Scott, thank you for that. Uh, let's get one more in here. Jared, what did you want to say here to Kevin? Hey, love you, Tom. Hey, Kevin, man, I'm 20 years old. You need to pick your balls up. Up off the floor, man, and work on your voice. So, oh, well, I'm going to call her. You need to work, dude. Get your stuff together. Listen, everyone's telling you, and you're going to think different, huh? Well, I never used to be like that. You know, usually I'm very energetic and outgoing, and all of a sudden I just feel like crap because of this. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Right, right. So I think I know what I got to do, and now I just got to go do it. Go, you put uh, her on ice. Yeah, and go, go find other chicks to bone. Uh, it might take me some time, but I'm going to do it. Might take you some time. Get, get it done. Aren't there enough bars on Long Island, for God's sake? Friday night? Aren't there enough Bennigans, Hooligans? <laughs> Whatevergans? Long Island is just, you know, one, one of those shopping mall bars after another. It's, come on. All right, it's wide open telephones on the Tom Lanka Show. It's you and me and a telephone at 1-800-5800-TOM on this Flash Friday. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's... The Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood, California, IA. Our nation's capital. At 1 800 5 800 Tom, wide open telephones on this Flash Friday. Headlights on, everybody. Show your loyalty to the Tom Likas Show. Headlights on. And ladies, if you see a pair of headlights on, show us your pair of headlights. Show us your cans. If you see a nice pair of noggers out there, if you get flash, call me. Tell me about it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? 
Oh, I didn't know if you were talking to me or not. Well, when I say, John, you're on the Tom Likas show, hello, what do you think that might be? It could mean any number of things. Anyway, You think so? I don't think so. I think it means one thing, and that's that somebody named John has been told he's the next caller on the Tom Likas show. And maybe it would be some other person named John, but if you heard me pick up the phone, you know I'm talking to you, unless you weren't paying attention. I was, I was listening to your show on the hold thing, so I was a little confused. I on guess. the hold thing. All right. Anyways, Tom, I think your philosophy is a joke. I've been married for 14 years. That's why you think it's a joke, because you've been married for 14 years. How do you know what it's like to get laid? Absolutely. Tell me that. Absolutely ask. what? I have probably more money than you do. I, I bet doubt that. that. We could count our I doubt dollars. that. I have 20 acres of property. I have 20 acres of property as well, son. Four wonderful kids. Uh, well, I, I don't have any kids, and that's why I've got more money than you. I think you were, you don't have more money than me. I oh, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. By women when you if you're kids. calling me and bragging about your 20 acres, you're barking up the wrong tree, pal. That's why your whole philosophy is so messed up. Unless your 20 acres is in Manhattan or Chicago, I'm not impressed. Actually, 10 of it is, but... Sure it is. Yeah. Well, I can prove it anytime you're ready to... Yeah, but well, why don't you just fax that right into us? I don't have your fax number, but we... Oh, oh we'll give it to you. Don't worry. We'll, we'll give it to you so you can fax us uh, the evidence that you own 10 acres in Manhattan. Go ahead. You're giving a lot of gullible people really bad information. There are so be specific. There are advantages to being married and having a family than there are to be running around playing Playboy. Actually, there aren't. There are no advantages to a man to get married. And there absolutely are. What are they? Just, just unlimited. You know, you right, unlimited is not an answer. I want specifics. Life with raise. You know, you can spend your life with people without being married the to right them. Thing. You and, can sp you, you can know, spend you can and, spend uh, your life with people and, without. Uh, are you a, do you have a hearing aid problem? Is that the problem over there? Do you do you need a new battery for your hearing aid? Chasing a bunch of broads. Oh you know, Jesus cares? Christ! Oh, we're you're gonna. You know what? This is. We're gonna have a dialogue here, not a monologue from you. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth. I'm telling you that there are no benefits to a man that he can get from being married that he can't get without being married. None. That's it's not true. An unmarried man can have children. An unmarried man can be loved. An unmarried man can have somebody who loves him forever. He does not need to sign a contract and put half of his wealth at risk. He does not need to do that. Well, you can get a prenup, too. You don't have to put your wealth at risk. I mean, you don't even have to get a prenup because even a prenup has costs involved, including the cost of drawing it up. So what? I mean, if you have money, who cares? You spend a few bucks. Uh, well, again, if I'm going to spend a few bucks, I want to spend it on the person who loves me the most. Me. Just being, you know, one girl after another, period. I don't spend the money on one girl after another. I spend the money on myself. You know, you're preaching, you're preaching it to everybody. and it's Yes, just... I am. And it works pretty well for the people who've called in and reported that they're getting more ass than a toilet seat. Well, who cares? Life isn't all about getting ass. That's huh? that's your life. Most guys want to get laid. Yeah, and you want to do other things, too. I mean, you know, there's a lot of other things you can well, do. Well, there may be other things people want to do, but the number one thing that most guys want to do, especially under the age of 40, is get laid. I, you know, I wonder. Oh, you I wonder. Don't... Yeah, well, you don't have to wonder. I've built a career. Talking to guys who want to get laid, I know for a fact that's what most guys want most. Well, maybe, but life isn't just about that. Well, I, that's your opinion, but I can tell you right now that if I did my show instead about how wonderful it is to have lovable children and to be married to a wonderful wife, I would not have the number one show among men. I wouldn't. Well, right. Nobody would listen to you. That's right. They listen because what guys really want is to get laid, and they want information on how to get laid. I, you just your theory is messed up. It doesn't make sense. How is it messed up? You treat women like dirt. Yes. Three times. Didn't you, you hear? Didn't you hear that? We we read research from the University of New Mexico yesterday on this program. Yesterday, that that justified what I say that being a jerk, being a bad guy, gets you more women. 
It's a fact. It's, it's now scientifically proven. Go to abcnews.com. Check it out. Quantity isn't everything, Tom. Again, quantity is better than, than what you consider to be quality. And let me tell you something. The reason men have ED is because they have to look at the same rolls of fat coming at them uh, in, a, in a Victoria's Secret negligee every night of the week. Why, well, you know, I'd, I'd rather have quality than quantity. Well, Tom. that's your opinion. You know what? I have quality and quantity because I, I only bang hot chicks. Anyways, I just want to call in to speak up for all the uh, guys and guys all the pussies that. out there who have their balls in their wife's purse. You, well, I'm, I'm glad you did. 180 degrees in the wrong direction and hardly. Why? Why are we number one? Why are we number one? Tell me why we're number one with men. It's a screwed up society, you know. Ah, you it's a screwed it. up society. It's guys like you and Howard. But but you do agree with me that what I'm saying is true. That this is what guys want to talk about. I mean, some guys, I guess. Yeah, not some guys. We're number people. one. We're not number. Not number forty-seven. We're number one. I'd like to talk about global warming and some things that need to be done. You know, uh, we're not here. To, to, we're not here to talk about what needs to be done. We're here to talk about what people want to talk about. Maybe it would help if you did. Maybe I'm not here to help. I am here to sell advertising. Do you understand? Tom, and I'm honest about it. You know, you have the. Are you going to attack me now for being honest? Maybe you had to try to do some good with no, it. No, no. The purpose of this show is to sell advertising. I'm in the advertising business. I'm not in the uh, carbon footprint business. I'm in the advertising business. You have the bully's pulpit. I think no, it's no. I, the reason I have this pulpit is because I have the most listeners, and we can sell the most advertising for the highest possible rate. That's why I'm here. And the minute I stop giving the people what they want, I won't have this pulpit anymore. Well, you know, whatever, but you can do whatever. a lot of good, and you do... I'm not here to do a lot of good. I am here to sell ads. Great. Show that's them. that's you, my job, and that's, by the way, the job of everybody on radio and everybody on television. Well, you have a responsibility being where you're at. No, you know? my responsibility is to the shareholders of the CBS Corporation. My responsibility is to the advertisers who support this program. That's where my responsibilities lie. And thirdly, to the people who tune in. Okay. I think and that's an know. honest answer. And you know okay. what? No one else in this business will give you an honest answer like that. And, and here you are criticizing me. I'm, I'm giving you the God's honest, balls-to-the-wall truth, and you can't see it. Did your mom leave you in a crib by yourself in a room when you were when you were? Are a you kid? a psychiatrist, okay. sir? Are you a, what are your credentials? I love women. Are you a, are you a psychiatrist? I don't have to sleep. With Do you them. have any credentials, sir? Credentials as far as what? What kind of credentials? And what what position are you in to judge my psychiatric motivation for doing things? I'm in the human race. That's my credential. Oh, I see. Well, yeah. Well, I'm in the human race too, and I think you're a moron. Barely. I yes. So my credentials are that I'm a member of the human race, and I think you're a jerk. Well, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Thank you're you very right. much. Joke, I'm a Tom. professor of poon. One rating. The next one time you show, get poon, you let me know. Segregation. Segregation of what? Segregation of women, of relationships. Oh, you uh, say segregation of women? Real life, right, Tom. You run around with a bunch of women. That would get old. Oh, yeah, right. Well, when it gets old, I'll let you know. The Tom Likas Show.